Well, with spring cleaning comes putting things into storage. And unfortunately, that means we have to buy big containers and take up lots of space. Today, we're gonna to look at what's called the pack and stack. It's a vacuum sealed bag that's supposed to take your items, like these pillows, and suck it down and make it into a lot smaller profile. I'm really excited to try this out. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews For You. And my channel is dedicated to reviewing, you guessed it, mostly I've seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while I do a little bit of a DIY just because I think it's a lot of fun. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. Now, let's test out the pack and stack. All right, so here is our pack and stack, my As Seen on TV product that I purchased from my local As Seen on TV retailer for about 10 bucks. So what we see here is it comes with a pump, four vacuum storage bags, two different sizes, and it uses three AAA batteries not included. All right, let's open this up to see what we get. All right, first things first, I get this cool looking pump with their logo on it. Very nice. Must be the on off button here on top and must be where I hook it up to the bags there. What do we got here? Looks like something else. There we go. All right. So we have the instructions. I'll look at that later and then I have my two sets of bags that are in here. We'll open these up in just a second. Let's go get some AAA batteries and test this thing out. All right, so we just stick our AAA batteries in the back here of our pack and stack vacuum. Click on the back. There you go. Now let's test this out. Okay, here's the vacuum. You know what, it does have a little bit of a pressure in there. I'll be excited to check this out. We're ready to roll. First thing I'm going to try in this pack and stack is we're going to put these pillows in and I'm hoping to compress this thing down to a flat surface. Let's try it out. I really wanted to fit both pillows into this bag, but just the bag that I have, it won't fit. I think this is the bigger of the two. This one's 19 by 5 by 23.5. The other one is 17.5 by 27.5, so it's thinner and longer. Anyway, so I can only get one pillow in. Let me get a measurement how tall this thing is. It's about five, five and a half inches tall. Um, they have these little white clips, right? They go right on the side. So you got to be careful not to run them off. I've, I've taken this off already once on accident. So what we do is we just swipe this thing across. We're sealing the double gripper lock, right? Just make sure it's nice and tight. I ran my fingers across there again just because I felt as though it didn't uh, seal all the way. So just making sure that's sealed. Now we're going to look at this pump area. All right, so we unscrew this completely. We take our pack and stack vacuum and stick it on top of there. I just think you push it there and then this is supposed to suck it out. So let's see what happens. Well, I hear crinkling. I will say it says you're not supposed to fill it past this line here. So I wasn't past the line. So we're still suctioning it out. I don't know if you can tell, but I can see the bag compressing down. I don't feel any air coming out here. I was wondering where that would be coming from. Turn this to the side a little. You can definitely seal it or see it tightening here. This might take a little while. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna shut this off and then I'll set a timer just so you know how long it, it took. We've already hit about maybe a minute here or so. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'll stop this. I'll let you know how long it took when we come back. 
I've had this running for an additional three minutes to the minute or so that was on there before, and it's gotten pretty thin. I'm really, really impressed with this. I bet if I let it go longer, it would go even more, uh, but I'm gonna stop it right here and just show you a side-by-side -side of the two pillows. Um, the one that was here, and then the one that I hadn't, I hadn't put in a bag yet. All right, so we'll first we turn this off, and then we're gonna take this thing off, and we gotta put the plug back on, okay? I don't think it has any air coming out or not, but I just wanted to show you that. All right, so the plug is back on. Now look at this pillow, how thin it was. Let's get a measurement now. Remember before it was like five and a half or so inches? Right now I'm looking at about just under three. So that was pretty impressive. Um, we can get a side-by-side -side of the two pillows. Mind you, this pillow is exactly the same, right? Well, this one just happened to be vacuum sealed in that bag. I'm pretty impressed actually with how that worked. I would love to hear from you. What do you think about the pack and stack? Do you need this in your life? Is this something we need at all? Make your life easier, not so much? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. When you're ready to release your item from the pack and stack, they recommend you actually open it very carefully from the middle. Um, they said doing it this way will reduce the damage to the bag and then you could reuse it. So let's release the seal right here from the middle. Oh, do you see that thing instantly pop back to shape? That was pretty cool. Let's take out our pillow. And there you have it. Back to as good as new. All right, so I couldn't get two pillows in one bag, but this one pillow in this bag did pretty good. But you know what? I want to do something a little more practical. So winter time is over. It's time to pack away some sweaters. Sweaters can take up a lot of space. I want to see if we can put some sweaters in these bags to shrink it down. Let's do that. Let's see how these sweaters work. We've got four sweaters. Um, I'm using the bag that's 17.5 uh, by 27.5. And so what I'm gonna do here, open this up, I'm gonna slide. Well, I got two sweaters here, but I'll slide one in at a time. Slide all the way down, grab another sweater. Slide that one in. We gotta put it right on top. All right. Now oh, this sweater. Get all four in the same bag. Wouldn't that be cool? All right, there's a sweater, and the last one. All right, so it looks as though we got them all in the same bag. We're on the other side or the right side of the line. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do our little Ziploc closed. Let me get my little clip here. Maybe that can help me out for this one. Slip it right on. Let's see if it gets me started. All right. And go over it again just for good measure. Now, this is considerably thicker than the pillow was. Let's see if I can get a measurement on this one. Um, they do warn about not overstuffing. This one looks about seven or so inches thick. They were, they say don't overstuff it. Um, I just put four sweaters in there. Let's take off the cap and put this thing on and let her rip. It's already sucking out the excess air. So what I'll do, just like the last time, I'm gonna let this run just a little bit so you can see what's happening, and then I'll let it run off camera as to save time. But so far it's, it's crinkling it down. I'm pretty impressed. Come back in just a few minutes. 
This has been running for an additional five minutes, so about six or so minutes total. But look at how thin this has gotten in just that period of time. We'll do a tape measure check here. I'm down to about, oh, I would say three and a half inches there. Maybe this part over here is a little thicker because of where it was folded, but that is really, really impressive. Let's shut this off and put on our cap. Cap's on. And now we are sealed and ready to store for the summer. Pretty impressive. That's four sweaters in this little bag. Really neat. Now we just drop it on the shelf and there you go. Um, this product says you can use it camping. And so I do a sleeping bag. I just don't want to dig it out. So I have a big down blanket. It's actually a queen size blanket for a queen size bed. So I think that's pretty comparable to what a sleeping bag would be. I want to see if I can get it into one of these. And I want to see if it could, I don't know, fit into a smaller space. Let's do that. Here I have a full queen down blanket. You can see it's 86 by 86 inches. It was difficult to get into this bag. I wanted to be careful as not to blow the seams here on either side. Um, I found that I had to use the white clip just to get a quick run across to get these together and then I sealed them. I just wanted to see if this thing would even work completely full. I'm not gonna share this, I'm not gonna run this one on video, but I'll come back afterward and let you know how long it took. But this is a queen size down blanket in one of the bags that are 17 and a half by 27 and a half inches. So I'll come back and show you how long this took and what it looks like at the end. I actually ended this one early. It went for about six minutes. I definitely believe it would have compressed more, but the directions tell you that anything involving down, um, you're to make sure that you only compress it 50% so you don't end up damaging the down as you are um, vacuum sealing it. So then here we have it. it. It compressed pretty well. And I think that this represents a, um, a sleeping bag that you would be using camping. Although some of the cinch sacks that they use for sleeping bags might get it smaller than this, but I think this is a good way to store something over the spring and summer months when you're not using it. Definitely more compact than just folding it up. So this pack and stack was able to meet every challenge I gave to it. That's pretty impressive. All right, so I was thinking about this product. I like the product, right? I like the versatility of it. I like that I can use it on a multiple of things for storage and really keeping things safe, right? So sometimes if you store things in the basement, it might be damp down there. This will keep them safe. You might not have a whole lot of storage space. This shrinks it down. You're going on a trip. You can only take one suitcase, vacuum seal it shut, and throw this thing right here in your carry-on bag. That way, when you come back, you can seal them again. This thing, like I said before, was only $10 at my local Asian on TV retailer, which I thought was pretty good. But then I started searching the internet because I wanted more bags. I found the website finally, but all it would let me do was reorder this. So I can get a special deal, two for 20 bucks, plus $7 in shipping. So $27, um, and all I got was eight bags. And so that disappointed me. Maybe Pack and Stack will come out with more bag variations down the road, but as of right now, they don't have that. Um, there's one more thing. Ooh! Waterproof. Would you do this? Ooh, oops, I got it all over the place. To your phone. Look, I vacuum sealed my phone. And as you can see, it still works perfectly fine. Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, if I were to do a buy or deny, let me put this aside. If I were to do a buy or deny, um, I would say, you know what? This is a good product. It offers a solution to some people that may not have the storage space. They may need to be able to vacuum things down. I like it. I didn't like the little pump thing. I thought it was cool. Um, for 10 bucks, you can't go wrong. Anyway, this was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. So far, so good. This has been in here for over a week. Doesn't seem like I've lost any air. I really like that. I like that feature. I like that it's holding tight. Pretty impressive.
No, no. I, I can't talk right now. Well, because I'm in the middle of shooting a YouTube video. Yeah, let me call you back later. All right, bye. Phone still works. Um, thank you for sticking around for my entire review of Pack and Stack and as seen on TV, vacuum packing baggy system. You know what? There's another review video I would love for you to see. I did it not that long ago. It's called The Cup Call. You stick your phone in there. It goes in your cup holder. Pretty sweet. I would link this video right up here. Oops. I'm going to link this video right up here, and I would love it if you would click on it. I'll meet you over there. Go ahead. Click it right here. It's safe. I promise.